What's up everybody, Sal here with Simply Investing. Another great stock that we've been watching for a while, but ever since the release of the iPhone 16, as you guys can see here, radical decrease right at the end of the day of trading. Now, why is that? A lot of people have it under an assumption that's probably due to the lackluster um, features and the performance of the iPhone 16 in comparison to others. And me personally, I'd rather them go back to the every two years. Instead of trying to do one new one every year, it just doesn't make any sense. I would say go every two years now. Now, I did myself on Friday buy a new Apple phone. I bought a new Apple phone, right? Because my, the, my old one was crapping out. But this one, the iPhone 16, other than having a bigger screen, because I bought the 16 Pro Max, and I got half a terabyte of storage, 512 gigs, really nothing different to it now i will say this it, there's a few more like functions relative to what i do for my moving company and businesses and it makes I like the calculator app is a little different than what it was on my old iphone so but i had an iphone 12 so everything's pretty much new the camera's better a lot of things are better on it however as compared to the iphone 15 it's not functionally any different and with the new iPhone, it didn't even launch the new I, the AI program with it yet. So maybe that's going to get patched in and airdropped in. I don't know. It's probably going to be delayed as to be expected with many things. But the performance just was lackluster. And usually, and this is, tr this is usually true of every iPhone launch. I'm telling you, every iPhone launch. You were sold out by, by new. I, when I worked in the wireless industry and work for radio shack we had the iphone 4 iphone 4s iphone 5 iphone 5s when i was there and each one were gone by, by 1 p.m you could not get an iphone unless you went to the apple store and then by 3 p.m the apple store was sold out so it was crazy that i came in at like six o'clock in the afternoon or pretty much evening and was able to get an iphone so with that being said, I think the demand for it is going down. But I also think it's part to do with Apple is expensive products. I, I was looking at a, at a the iPad the iPad Pro the the two terabyte version. You're talking like almost three thousand dollars for that sucker, right? For the wire the the wire the wireless version or whatever it is. But overall, Apple products are expensive, and now that people have no money, it's going to be interesting to see how Apple's going to go. My expectation is there the value of the stock is going to drop, and I think as we're getting this correction, as a lot of stocks are starting to hit 15-year lows again, hitting those those very low points right after 2008 crash, I think Apple's going to go back down to the $100 range. It may or may not happen right away. It's probably going to take a year, but I think it's going to go back down as people just kind of flow away from it. That would be a good time to start buying in again. And just going because Apple's going to be around. It's just it's pretty much going to be Apple and Samsung. That's pretty much what it's going to be, in probably another decade. But I would say in ten years, Apple's still going to be a good stock. But in the short term, the price will drop uh, either twenty five to I'd say fifty percent correction. But stay tuned. As far as their new products, they're kind of lackluster. If you guys agree with me, link a comment. If you disagree, comment below. Tell us why. We'll talk to you later and. Hopefully uh, tomorrow we will be going live. So check us out for our live. If you guys know, link is above for our YouTube channel. Go check out our YouTube channel. Go see, you know, like, there's like 400 hours of stuff. So go watch it. And we're always putting up new stuff. Check you guys later.